What are the main data types in GIS? Describe the spatial data and attribute data types, comprehensively. Data Geographic data and related tabular data can be collected in hours and purchased from a commercial data provider. Data are data, whether GIS is a data-hungry system. Data is the one of the most important and often most expensive components of GIS. There are two main data types in GISR. Number 1, spatial data. Number 2, attribute data. Spatial data. It described the absolute's relative location of geographical feature. It contained the real world coordinate of feature. It deal with where. A common example of spatial data can be seen in a roadmap. A roadmap is two-dimensional object that contains points, lines and polygons that can represent cities, roads and political boundaries such as states or provinces. The spatial data in a GIS can be classified into three main categories. Number 1, Vector. Number 2, Raster. Number 3, Tin. Vector Vector data consists of individual points, which, for 2D data, are stored as pairs of X and Y coordinates. The point may be joined in a particular order to create lines, or joined into closed rings to create polygons, but all vector data fundamentally consists of lists of coordinates that define vertices, together with rules to determine whether and how those vertices are joined. Raster The raster data is made up a pixel has an associated value. Simplifying slightly, a digital photograph is an example of a raster data set where each pixel value corresponds to a particular color. In GIS, the pixel values may represent elevation above sea level or chemical concentrations or rainfall etc. Tin a triangulated irregular network is a representation of a continuous surface consisting entirely of triangular facets, used mainly as discrete global grid in primary elevation modeling. The vertices of these triangles are created from field recorded spot elevations through a variety of means including surveying through conventional, global positioning system, real-time kinematic, photogrammetry or some other means. Associated with three-dimensional data, X, Y, and Z, and topography, TINs are useful for the description and analysis of general horizontal, X and Y, distributions and relationships. Attribute data Attribute data deals with what, how much and when. It is also known as a spatial data. When we describe any object in their existing and other information of this object, this is also known as distinctive data. GIS is only system in which we can find spatial as well as attribute data. It is also referred to lobular data which is quantitative in nature. The attribute data in a GIS can be classified into six main categories. Number one. Nominal or categories, number two, ordinal or ranks, number three, interval, number four, ratio, number five, cyclic, and number six, counts and amounts. Nominal data Nominal data is the simplest type of attribute data. It is described by the name, and to identity or distinguish one entity from another, with no specific order. Examples, place, names, Names of houses and categories of land use, forest, etc. Ordinal Ordinal data are the type of data in which the data values follow a natural order. One of the most notable features of ordinal data is that the differences between the data values cannot be determined or are meaningless. Generally, the data categories lack the width, representing the equal increments of the underlying attribute. Examples Orders of streams, first order, second order, third order, etc.
level of education primary and secondary etc. Interval Interval data, also called an integer, is defined as a data type which is measured along a scale, in which each point is placed at equal distance from one another. Interval data always appears in the form of numbers or numerical values where the distance between the two points is standardized and equal. Example, the scale of Celsius temperature is interval, because it makes sense to say that 30 and 20 are as different as 20 and 10. Ratio Ratio data is defined as a quantitative data, having the same properties as interval data, with an equal and definitive ratio between each data and absolute, zero being a treated as a point of origin. In other words, there can be no negative numerical value in ratio data. Example, rainfall per month, weight is ratio because it makes sense to say that a person of 100 kilograms is twice as heavy as a person of 50 kilograms. But Celsius temperature is only interval, because 20 is not twice as hot as. And this argument applies to all scales that are based on similarly arbitrary zero points, including longitude. Cyclic data consisting of directions or times in which the measurement scale is cyclic. After 23.59 comes 00.00, .00 after 359 degrees comes 0 degrees, after December 31st comes January 1st. Special techniques are required for summarizing and modeling all types of cyclic data. For example, the histogram is replaced by the circular histogram or the rose diagram, and the principal distribution used to model the data is not the normal distribution, but the von Mises distribution. Counts and amounts Counts and amounts show total numbers. A count is the actual number of features on the map. An amount can be any measurable quantity associated with a feature. For example, number of students in a class. Using a count and amount lets you see the actual value of each feature, as well as its magnitude compared to other features.